Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I know I'm a little late, but we're here now. Let's go. So Scrappy has gone over to see his mother, Mama D, and they started out their conversation about the food truck because you know Scrappy and Erica wanted Mama D to go in with them on a restaurant, and she said, you know, I wish you all the best in your endeavors, but I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Child Mama D has let Scrappy know that she has organized a mother's appreciation brunch or dinner or lunch or whatever, right? She said that Kirk and Rashida got so much time to be in Scrappy's business while they listen to Bambi talk about everything Scrappy's not doing, that she's got enough time to be in their business. She has a special guest, and Scrappy is not cool with the special guest because he's, he just knows how Mama D is. But she was like, she's going to make a safe space for this special guest. I cannot wait. Child, so Santana got Chef D over here cooking in the kitchen. He has let uh, Chef D know that his mama about to drop by on her way to church. It is a Friday. <laughs> Santana said, y'all to be glad she can see you up a prayer because you ain't living right. <laughs> I think Santana's mother is beautiful, right? And when she walks in, she's shocked to see Chef D. And I was shocked to find out they talk all the time, right? But she was coming over here to talk to Santana about her book that she had written because she had written some stuff in her book about him and his lifestyle and how she came to accept it. So she starts talking about this particular chapter in her book and it's titled Innocent Stolen. And she goes on to say how everywhere her son went, she thought it would be a safe space for him, but he was passed around and um, treated horribly, right? By family members. And they are listening to her so intently and it is a very emotional story. Like I was not expecting that. As she kept reading, we find out that Saucy was nine years old when he was violated by family members. And as she kept reading, she said she feel like all of the things that happened to him was the reason he chose this lifestyle. She said some people have come out and admitted what they had done, except for like one person. And he's getting very emotional. It is a very emotional story. Saucy said this went on between the ages of nine and 16 right and he said he doesn't hold any grudges because this is what was going on in his life at the time he said he didn't even want to tell but he confided in a cousin who told everybody and like i said he said he holds no grudges but the best thing that had come out of this is that he and his mother on a are on a better path because there was a time when she just didn't understand and like she said she didn't know how to accept him and love him. But I'm so glad they're in a better place now. Chirina here trying to tell Sierra that uh, Spice is gonna, you know, have a little small, little like a little baby shower dinner for her, right? For her. Sierra talking about, yeah, I wanna go cause I wanna know, I was in the hospital, they didn't call, they didn't text. Sierra, this is the hundredth episode you still talking about you being in the hospital. Girl, this is Rennie's time. Uh, Amy is here talking to her mother about Mama D's uh, mother appreciation lunch. So her mother said that she's going to go and she's going to be on her best behavior. So Jasmine is here talking to her mother. She's in the park with uh, her baby Cannon, Kirk's son, right? And she's telling her mom about the conversation with Rashida and Kirk. How now if Rashida has stayed with Kirk, then she feels like they should take care of him also, right? And she mentioned what Kirk said about her coming to the door in her birthday suit. And then she invited her mother to Mama D's Mother Appreciation Lunch. This is going to be good. So we have made it to the baby lunch for Rennie. Spice is giving her a hug. Shekana is here. And Sierra is in tow like she's sucking on lemons. Like she's coming in with an attitude. <laughs> so Sierra just sits down, right? And she's like, y'all didn't come see me when I was in the hospital. She kind of said, hold up. <laughs> she was like, I thought it was a stunt. The reason their face is like this is because she kind of said, I, I thought you were selling your cream. Like, she kind of, why would you say that? <laughs> Child, so she sits here and she says, Spice, you didn't call me. You didn't come to see me. Spice, let me get you together real quick. I was in the hospital for a hundred and something days. And you didn't, you didn't come to see me. She was like, I text, I call. And then Spice had to stop her. She was like, girl, it is not about you. We are here celebrating Rennie. And Rennie was like, 
I didn't think Sierra was gonna just jump in like this. We haven't even got a drink order done yet. So after they finished talking about the leg, then Sierra was like, I hear you getting a cast album together. Like who all's on it? So then she, Spice says, Renny, I really want you to be on it because you know, you having a baby, want to get in the studio with you um, before you have the baby. Then Sierra was like, you didn't even ask me. She was like, girl, I haven't seen you. And then Spice goes on her confessional and says, I want this album to be serious. I want artists on the album. You, Sierra, are not an artist. And then Sierra, in her confessional, I did one song. I liked it, and I'm going to keep doing it until I get a hit hit. Spice don't want you on her album trying to get a hit. She wants people who are capable of getting hits. Sierra need to go somewhere and make some chicken and stop. So Saucy is here with Tanya, and Tanya is like, his gay mom. He said when he and his mother were having problems, um, usually people in this community seek out people who can understand what they're going through. And this is who Tanya is to him. So Santana is talking to Tanya about his mom, um, her book, and he's happy that she's putting it out. And then he, he talks about how they were talking and D mentioned to his mom that he wanted to get married. <laughs> Santana said, I, I don't want to do that. Tanya said they keep coming back. <laughs> Santana said, I don't know what I got down here. <laughs> so Rennie has made it to the studio with Spice. Um, they're talking about the album. Spice is talking about Sierra. She doesn't think that Sierra is taking it seriously. Maybe because she has the time and money. She's just trying to do something. I agree with Spice. But uh, she's ready to get Rennie in the booth. And Rennie says she is with a partner this time who is very hands-on. And she's not really used to that. But I hope she has nothing but happiness in this pregnancy. You know what I mean? Because I, I like Rennie. I don't know that much about her, but I like her. Baby, Erica's mama is in the building. Mignon. And she is 100% behind scrapping Erica and their relationship, whatever it is at this point. And Mama D is just riding the wave. Like, I'm so happy they're co-parenting. I like me young because she can get the party started too. Then Amy and her mother walks in. As soon as she sits down, she telling Mama D how she feel about Bambi. How Bambi lied. And girl, get over it. It was more than a decade ago. Let it go. So this was the moment that we saw on the previews where Erica said that she was pregnant by Scrappy. So Mignon and Mama D have fallen out. But at this moment right here, she says she was joking. So Erica is not pregnant. Let's keep going. So then Mama D said her feelings hurt a little bit because she was kind of hoping low-key that it was true. But Erica lets them know as they are listening intently that scrapping her a good and she is willing and open to giving him another chance but the ball is in scrappy's court okay so baby in walks jasmine and her mother they look like they're about 27 years old a piece right they have stepped into the building erica and amy are over there devastated right they was like what is this erica said when i think about honoring mothers I don't see Jasmine anywhere in sight. Well, she's in sight, and she's over here talking to Mama D. Jasmine said she was shocked how quick Mama D got into her business. But since she's here, she's here. Let's get into it. And producers asked Mama D, like, why didn't you invite Rashida and her mama? <laughs> mama D said, I have absolutely no more hay for them. <laughs> Now, she's telling Mama D how Kirk says she shows up at the door in her birthday suit, right? But she said Kirk is trying to cover his tracks just in case she says something so he can have something to say. But if she is showing up at the door in her birthday suit, you are here to pick up Cannon. You don't have to respond to the birthday suit outfit. But we all know Kirk's track record. So Mama D is like, has Kirk tried to get at you? She was like, yeah, he's still trying to get at me, right? And he will give me more money if I give him what he wants. Mama D said they had time to get in her and Scrappy's business. She has time now to get in Kirk and Rashida's business. Jasmine invited her friend Erica just in case something needs to pop off. She didn't want her mother in a tussle. Mama D lets Erica know what Jasmine said about Kirk giving more if she gives more. And Erica went over there and got dismissed by Jasmine. Like, baby, 
I don't have no tea for you. Minyan say no side chicks allowed. Bye, y'all.